When you believe you have a better understanding about anxiety and how it presents, from reviewing the tools and worksheets provided in part one, you can move on to part two. The tools listed in part two are behavioral, focusing on our actions. The objective over the course of the next three sessions will be to help you learn how to decrease unwanted physical signs of anxiety in the body by applying various relaxation tools. In addition, you will learn how to create a fear ladder, which will serve as a roadmap for making behavioral change through exposure therapy, an important tool you will learn about in future sessions. In session four, you will start learning to relax by learning how to use both calm breathing and progressive muscle relaxation to manage unwanted anxiety. If you prefer one relaxation tool more than the other, use the preferred tool. You do not need to use both tools. One is sufficient. Session five builds on the two learning to relax tools taught in session four. By practicing these tools once or twice daily, as well as during anxious episodes, you will become an expert on keeping calm. You will also be introduced to facing my fears, where you will learn all about having the courage to do exposure work. In session six, you will finish building a fear ladder, also called an exposure hierarchy, by using the fear ladder worksheet. Once you have your ladder, you can then rank the steps from least to most scary or hard. Don't be too concerned if it takes more than sessions five and six to complete the ladder. For adults with multiple areas of anxiety, you may need to create several ladders and this can take time to complete. As you move forward into part three, you transition from behavioral into cognitive skills, where you will learn a variety of cognitive or thinking tools. These tools are intended to promote helpful thinking and increased confidence.